Good morning, you guys. Uh, this is Juan from uh, KS Auto. This is my friend Asus. Today we're going to be working on his car. We're going to be restoring the convertible top so it looks nice and brand new. And uh, let you guys know how we go about it and how we do it. And hopefully show you guys some results. So we'll get, let's get started. All right. So this is the stuff you're going to need. First of all, this is the main part. This is the Forever Black black top with the applicator, just a little sponge. You are gonna need some gloves, just, you know, because it is the dye, you don't wanna get it in your hands. Something to scrub the top with whenever you're cleaning it. You're gonna need a tape just to cover up, like, you know, uh, paint or s stuff like that that you don't wanna, you don't wanna get the dye on. Some dishwashing soap to remove uh, all the oils, the wax and that kind of stuff. And then if you wanna wash your car right after too, while you're doing this, some car wash, um, soap, something to scrub your car with, and then obviously a rag so you know to clean in any excess or something like that we're just about to get ready to start cleaning the car what we're going to do is wash the whole car clean the top take it outside let it dry um and then after that we will uh put the uh the dye on let it dry and then take it outside and we'll show you guys all right so first we're going to wash the car and we'll speed up the process that way you guys can see it and we'll skip around and whatnot but yeah, you know, we're washing the car and uh, scrubbing the top so the dye could soak in better. leave it outside and let the top dry and after it dries we're gonna bring it inside and put the dye on and then after that take it outside and let you guys see how it is all right so stay tuned so what we're gonna do is uh let me see the tape bro we're gonna grab this tape like when like I said tape all of this off so we don't get any dye on it you mind turning it on bro Find the car? Yeah. You can. All right, so we masked the top. Uh, hopefully this, 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 this here doesn't get in the way. Um, we did a little bit of the window, just the top. 
I mean, if you were to get some on it, it's cool because the window you could just go with the razor blade and it's not a big problem. Um, we're just getting the back window now. Just getting masked so we can do the dime a little bit more freely. And again, just here, same thing. After you have the gloves on, you're gonna wanna grab this. This is your applicator, so you grab it from this side and you put all the uh, all the dye here, and that's kind of what the dye looks like. All right, so, uh, you gonna put some a little bit on it? Let's, let's try it out first. Kinda have to get a feel for it first, yeah. So, the directions are, dispense a small amount of gel on the applicator, apply, and allow 15 minutes to dry, easy enough. And this is where the, also the rag comes in, so if you get, you know, stuff on your on your trim, you just wipe it off and it doesn't... Got to wet a little bit, don't we? No? Let's I don't think down. so, bro. I think we're good. No. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, so... I think that's good. Like I said, let's try to get a feel for it now. There you go. It's easier when you spot them like that at first before they dry. That way it doesn't it doesn't dry onto your car and it's harder to take off later on. You can't tell the difference right now, bro, honestly. But you can kind of tell the difference how this just looks like pitch black and this kind of looks almost like grayish hopefully they could tell a difference on the video well, um, we're in the shade. and I, that's because we're in the shade we'll take a picture right now once we're that's once we're done better be doing the shade. yeah yeah just uh we thought about doing it in the shade just because um if you do it uh in the sun it should, it, like well, what could happen is that it dries up too quickly and uh you can't distribute it evenly so we thought about doing this in the shade so it's a little easier we have more time before it dries yeah, got that part. See, and that's like the part where the it started chipping. That shit was white. So what you could do is just apply a little bit more here than you would normally on the other side, on the normal ones, on the on the whole tops. Just apply a little bit more if you can right here. Just go through it a couple times. But this is super good that we did this. Yeah. Right. So what I think we'll do we'll do now is uh, we'll put it um, put the camera on the car and we'll speed through this because you guys kind of got the hang of it just so we could distribute evenly and see where we're missing parts and whatnot. So we'll do that and uh, we'll uh, we'll come back whenever we're done.
right, so we're in the final steps now. What we're gonna do now is since we have this closed, all of this stuff we just covered up. So uh, what well, we did, turn on the car and lift it up the top just a little bit so we could get all of that stuff in there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the car outside, let it dry uh, for 15 minutes, and then I'll grab a picture for you guys and you guys can see how it ended up. But it came out pretty good. You can see like there's a, a shine to it. And uh, right now it's not totally even because it hasn't dried yet. But you guys will see it shortly. I'll take it outside. Okay. <laughs> it's just shiny as fuck. Alright. Yeah, you, you gotta let it dry. Yep, most definitely. You can't see it inside. But that's that's just a lot of difference, bro, from what it looked like. Uh what you can start doing right now is start on, on masking everything. Yeah. Alright, so uh we I will start recording again once this is dried. Uh it's 1025 right now. So like around uh 10:40 i would uh I, I will start recording it again so you guys can see the finished product Finished. I gotta say, bro, this thing looks fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you could do this like in about, well, like, what do you think, like 30 minutes? If yeah. You, if you do, like, you know, we, we took our time with it. Um, and we actually lay dry more than indicated just because we did do a uh, big coat on it. The whole bottle. Yeah, I mean, it would be, it, it is nice. Uh, the the process that we looked up when we were uh, we because we did um look it up first before doing it um they didn't wash the car but I guess if your car's clean then you don't you know you don't need to wash it but it is a smart decision to wash it with uh like this washing soap um because it takes away all the oils and wax and stuff that would keep your uh, the dye from soaking in but um I mean it's just quite a change honestly. I mean, if you look at it, I'm gonna go around and just kind of show you guys how it looks like. And that's already dried on. So. Yeah, and this is already dried. We uh, we took it outside at 11:30. I mean, 10:30, and it's 11 right now. So at the end of the day, this is a this is a nice project uh, that you could do in 30 minutes, and it costs you how much? Like 20 bucks 20 dollars and it should be good at least for about a year if you do it like how we did it you i mean it lasts um people have said it lasts over 15 years uh which is quite plausible if if you do it like how we did it we spent a whole bottle on this and uh it does help to mask all of these surfaces just so you don't get anything on it um because when you do get something on like we did here it's like super hard for it to come off because it is dying and it just grabs onto it. Um, I would suggest everyone masking all of this, masking the windows. You can still see stuff on it, but that's easy if you have a razor blade. Uh, you can take that off, that's not a problem. But it is really good to mask like parts where the paint is at. Oh, hello. What are you doing in our video? Uh, <laughs> ah, you gotta die, fucking like Spider-Man. Yeah, and um, like stuff like this, where uh, it's like hidden inside, we lifted up the top and we did it um, with it from under. So uh, whenever you open it, it doesn't look, you know, gray on that part. You see a big line where the dye didn't go in. But other than that, 
I mean, it's a it, it's it's a job that will last you a really long time and uh, will make your car look a lot nicer. So, out of the score, like out of out of one to ten, no, that's just a 10. your expectations, bro. Perfect the way I want it to. Perfect. All right. And I recommend for anyone that has a convertible car, that is, what do you say, like five years or older, eight years as older? Long as it looks great. Yeah. Long yeah. Looking great. I mean, you right. could tell the difference from this to what this looks like. Even if you clean it. Yeah, and even if you clean it, it still looks kind of gray. Or you know, you have convertible spots that are uneven. There's spots that look, you know, gray, and there's spots that look black. Um, it's an easy install. I have the application super easy. Couldn't be easier, honestly. The only thing that you gotta be mindful of is just the trim, the body panels. But if you mask that, I mean, you could, you know, do it like we did and not have to worry about it too much. But yeah, well, thank you guys for watching. Again, stay updated with uh, with all the stuff that we're gonna be doing soon. Uh, hopefully by now you guys are subscribed, you guys are new to the channel. Hopefully you guys find it interesting. If you guys have any questions or any, uh, any uh, suggestions, for us to do in any of our cars, uh, please let us know. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.